Good morning, it's uh, day four on the Cumbria Way. Uh, I'm just leaving Sea Toller and I'm heading to Keswick today, so it's quite a short one, a flat one. I think nine miles in total, which is nice. Um, I do want to get there quite quickly though, because I am meeting my brother in Keswick around lunchtime if so. It's gonna be a go on with it a day. <laughs> That's fine. Um but yeah, it should be good. Um I've done this pass loads of times to be honest with you. Um I think I had a video six months ago where I did around uh, water as well, so if I don't get much oop, nearly clobbed it then. Um yeah, if I don't get much filming today, you can watch that. Because <laughs> it's the same route more or less. Um well, yeah, should be good. Um, I stayed in the Claramara Hotel last night. It was a really nice place to stay, actually. I slept really well. There was no ghost attacks, which is something. <laughs> I slept. I actually slept. Um, breakfast was good. And the room was comfy and everything, so all good. Hoping for more of those biscuits tonight, though. Yeah, it's another glorious day. I think it's going to get quite hot later, actually, so... Quite glad it's a low-level walk. Um, tomorrow's a big day, so I'm going to try and take it easy today and conserve my energy for tomorrow. <laughs> I think also tomorrow's going to be like in the 20s as well, so yeah, <laughs> looking forward to that. <laughs> Yesterday when I came up, I came up this road here, um, but there's a sign for Longsway. I think that's the youth hostel, so I'm going to go down there, I think. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get lost. So tranquil this morning, like. Well, this is rather beautiful. So this isn't officially the Cumbria Way, or even officially the Cumbria Way, it's not the Cumbria Way at all. Um, I diverted last night to go to Sea Toller, where my accommodation was. So this is the Sea Toller to, I think, Rosswaite Pass. Uh, very nice. Yeah, this is what I love about the Lake District. This paths everywhere, everywhere you want to go there's like multiple paths you can take. Oh, I think I'm at the youth hostel actually. That was unexpected, I thought it was a few miles on. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, so yeah, this is Borrowdale Youth Hostel. I actually stayed here last September. Really nice place to stay. Um, I would have stayed again this time actually, but they are fully booked, which is not surprising. Had I not been meeting my brother today, I was kind of debating maybe going up here and then walking along the ridge line, which would get high spy, high, high something. I had this trouble last time when I was here, I couldn't remember the name of that one. High summer, and then there's Maiden Moor and then the Cat Bells like, running across. So I'd say like if you wanted to do a higher route today, that would be a good one if the weather's nice. Um, but I'm going for an easy day today. <laughs> that 
is so beautiful down here. But again, the Cumbria Way is technically over there somewhere. It'll join, I think, Grange maybe? Or Rossway, it'll come down. At some point, it'll be on that side of the river and come across to join where I am. Um, I think the mileage I'm doing is the same, so I'm not too bothered about strictly following it today. <laughs> Stop by this lovely old bridge to have a drink of water. And there's a mandarin duck in there, just over there, which is pretty cool. That's Castle Crag up there. I went up there back in September. There should be a video. I'll put it up above. Morning. I see the fence is just a suggestion to you guys. <laughs> Morning. You're cute. <laughs> it's quite funny that don't I think the camera will pick it up because it's the same strands of electric fence but I don't think them cows were meant to be in the river there <laughs> but never mind though <laughs> So I suspect the camera is probably doing a pretty decent job of showing you how beautiful this woodland is with the river. It's so tranquil and beautiful. Um, what cameras can't show you is how wonderful it smells as well. Like it smells so earthy around here, but the water as well, like it almost smells almost salty. Like I don't know how to describe it, but like I can smell the river. It is smelling really strong, I think, because it's getting quite warm and the woodland and all the different scents like there's flowers I can get the occasional whiff from I don't know if you can hear that but there's peregrine falcons as well oh it's absolutely amazing this I feel so lucky that like I'm physically able to get to places like this it's feeling like the luckiest person in the world right now like what more do you want than this
So yeah, this bit is part of the Cumbria Way. Um, but also if you do Castle Crag, you can go up to Castle Crag. Is that Castle Crag? It's up there somewhere. You can go up there and then you can actually loop around and come back around through this woodland. But honestly, it's probably worth just coming here on its own. Just when I think this walk can't get any more magical, I see a squirrel running along a nice mossy wall and some deer. Oh, it's so lovely today. It's hard to say like what my favourite bit's been so far, but I think this may be it. So I've accidentally deviated from the Cumbria Way. Um, I can see people just walking along there. Um, I think it's six and two threes in mileage wise, so it's alright. <laughs> yeah, came this way last year and I just automatically started walking the way I knew and then realised it actually. <laughs> Might need to go a different way. But never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm we'll going through Grange in a moment. Which I'm, I look to think the Cumbria Way actually skirts around. So. I don't work out if that's deliberately cut to look like an alligator. <laughs> So that will be Maiden Moor, that one, and that's Cat Bells there. So I guess if you're doing the Cumbria Way, like I said earlier, like if you wanted to, you could do the whole ridge line, or if you wanted, you could just. So there's a track here that takes you up Cat Bells. You could just peel off and do Cat Bells on its own. But I have to say, this bit, which I'm on now, it is a really nice bit of dirt and water. So yeah. <laughs> I'm nearly at the shores of Dermot Water and um, at this end there's a nice beach what I like so when I get there I'm gonna soak my feet for 10 minutes and reapply some sun cream because I'm beginning to look a bit pink I 
feels weird to say this, but after like walking through the Langdales yesterday, it feels like a lot less hilly here. <laughs> Not obviously it's hilly, but like the hills are less big. Apart from Skidor over there, which yeah, tomorrow I'll be skirting around that. I'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> Such a lovely, peaceful place <laughs> for a quick break. Put my toes in the water. <laughs> and this lot kicking off. I say this every time, but I love this cottage. On the walkers motorway outside. It's always so busy whenever I walk it. something I've been thinking about on a previous walk and again it's become quite noticeable like I find like when you're out on the hills and stuff like pretty much everyone you meet you say hello to you have a little chat with and um, the last few days through the Lake Districts it's been wonderful um, on the social aspect like I've kind of walked with different people over the last few days just random as that seem to be walking the same pace and we'll just walk together for a few miles before going our separate ways and I really really like that and then it's always the case once you start getting near to a bigger town people start getting less polite and i'm sure it's the very same people like i'm sure the people that I'm, like today i'm finding it's already getting to the point where like i mean you see how wide this track is i'm still having to get off this track to go around groups of people because they haven't got the courtesy to move out of the way but i bet if you put those very same people on a mountain probably lovely and friendly and chatty but for some reason near towns oh I'm running out of breath now for some reason near towns people get less friendly but yeah I was thinking it when I was on the coast walk um, last time like once you get like into the like more rural but like you speak to everyone you go past you say hello at least and then as you walk into villages you stop doing that because people don't like it <laughs> I was just wondering, what point is it? 
Is it like a mile out of the village? Two miles? I mean, this is, I'm coming to Keswick, I'm about three miles out of Keswick. It's definitely here. Um, like, I've just, like, I just had to pause the video there, but like, that path that I was just on again, like three people walking abreast came towards me and seemed to expect me to like walk right around them off the grass, onto the grass. I mean, I did and I actually just stopped where I was and let them go around me, which... <laughs> anyway... Point being, when you're near civilization, people are definitely a lot less friendly than out and... What I'm trying to say, up until now I've had a really, really nice time chatting with strangers and I've met some really, really nice people on this walk. It's been good for that. But yeah, I think I'm heading into Port and Scale now. Just going through some more woodland and then Port and Scale and over to Keswick. So I made a pretty good time actually. It's been it's an easy walk today, it's nice and flat all the way. But yeah, the beauty with Dermot Water, I think I said in my Dermot Water video, um there's like ferries all the way around so you can walk little sections if you want or you can walk all the way around the lake um, depending on what you can do. See, I'm sceptical about that, right? I mean, obviously, there will be a panel there. But, right, when I was a kid, I didn't like doing hills very much. And my parents used to tell me, like, if I walked just up this hill, there'd be an ice cream van up at the top. And obviously there never was, because you can't get ice cream vans on the tops of mountains. But I fell for it every time. I was always massively disappointed. It's amazing I actually got back into hill walking after such disappointments. But yeah, like that saying, oh, just walk up this hill and there'll be an ice cream van I right? Skeptical. I mean, it probably is legit. <laughs> but. See, I've been looking forward to seeing these. <laughs> they make good socks through alpacas. The fur, not them themselves, like, but... So, skid all here. I think in the morning I'm going up and around this, and around up there. Oh, it's amazing how different it all is since this morning. Just like why eight or nine miles, that's it. But yeah, it's um I'm a bit sad actually that I'm actually coming out of the lake district. I mean I've still got today obviously in Keswick. Which I'm gonna enjoy. Um and tomorrow like it's gonna be beautiful, it's small and that'll be going over and I mean I suppose Skiddle's still a mountain but <laughs> It is more like mountain moorland rather than like craggy mountains, it's different. Um, so I guess like that, the quaint kind of lake district I'll be leaving behind and going more into like rugged, more Scotlandy kind of territory, which as I say, very beautiful, looking forward to it, but it's a different stage. <laughs> so this is Point and Scale. Not far over to Keswick now. the hotel room um yeah it looks nice this is the Keswick Park Hotel oh why that um most excitedly these are the biscuits <laughs> oh TV is quite massive actually um I've got a nice view I don't know if I can open the window though Maybe I can. I'll work that one out later. I hate being in hotel rooms with the window closed for some reason. Um, and let's see the bathroom. I 
looks all right. <laughs> so yeah, today's been a really good day. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I got up pretty quickly actually, I, and I wasn't even rushing. Um, I think I made it into Keswick for one o'clock. Um, yeah, and I just sort of wandered along, so. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not feeling too tired or anything like that. I'm feeling, feeling good, <laughs> which is good because tomorrow's a big day. So um, I'm thinking it's actually still quite early. So I think I'm just gonna go and wander around Keswick a little bit, get an ice cream, get some chips probably. <laughs> so yeah, um, be beautiful woodland this morning. That was my favorite part so far, I think. So yeah, the, the first part of this morning was absolutely stunning. Like it's actually made me really happy <laughs> with life. Um, yeah, beautiful day. I really hope I managed to show how lovely it is. Um, so yeah, as always, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which should be tomorrow. Bye.